Well guys, so in this video I want to talk about accountability and I want, I'm going to discuss two things. So the first thing is that accountable union, union or accountable sets is going to be countable. In other words, uh, if we're going to have that AI going to be our countable sets, or in other words, AI is countable for all eyes, then from here is going to follow that if I'm going to take the union uh, of my AIs, and I'm going to take that i goes from one to positive infinity. Then their union is going to be countable. And here you can like ask a question, why do we have that i goes from one to positive infinity? Uh, originally I can write that i belongs to the index set i, where i is going to be countable. And what is the definition of the countable sets? I'm going to say that some set b is countable. Um, if I'm going to talk naively, uh, that means that I literally can list my elements. In other words, I can choose element B1 and call it the first element. I can choose element B2 and uh, uh, take it like as a second element and etc. And by doing that process, I'm going to exhaust all elements in my, in my set B. If I'm going to talk more mathematically, then that means that I'm going to have a bijection. I just don't want like to use like fancy words. Uh, F from set of natural numbers to my set B. And you can see like more mathematical uh, approach is uh, we apply the approach uh, using uh, to the, our first definition because one goes to B1, two goes to B2 and etc. And that literally means that we have a bijection from uh, natural numbers to our set B. So that's why if I'm going to have a countable set I, that means I can just list my elements uh, from I as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and et cetera. And so that's why instead of writing down a union of I belongs to big I, I'm going to write it down as a union uh, that I goes from one to positive infinity. Yeah, so let's prove um, that statement. And then I'm going to just, uh, talk about the second statement. And the second statement I can just give as a preview. If we're going to change countability to say like, to have like uncountable, uh, index set, then in that case, it's not going to be true that uncountable union of countable set is going to be countable. But before that, let's just prove this first. Uh, if you have a countable union, then uh, our origin, our like actual set is going to be countable. Um, and here we're going to use the definition of countability. So since we have sets A1, A2, blah, 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 AN, that, that meets since each of that set is countable, then we can list all their elements. Or in other words, we can list elements A1 as A11, A12, A13, and etc. And you can see the first index is going to be responsible for the index for my A. So in other words, I have A1 over here. So that's why I have A11, A12, A13, etc. And then the same thing we can do for our second set. So I will have A21, A22, A23, and etc. And also I'm going to do that for all other sets. So I'm going to have A and 1, A and 2, A uh, and N, and etc. And here you can see that we have this sort of table. And if I'm going to take a look at this union, then this table is literally going to be equal to the union of all AIs. And this union is going to be countable if I can list my elements. But using a counter, no, it's not counter diagonal argument or what is like the general name of that approach. But basically it's how we show that um, rational numbers are countable. We have an order here and we're going to count our elements using the following approach. I'm going to take A11 as my first element and then A12 is going to be my second element. And instead of moving uh, to the right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my direction and I'm going to move diagonally to the left. So A21 is going to be my third element. And then uh, here's one element is missing, is going to be my element A31. And then A31 is going to be my uh, fourth element. And then I'm going to, again, like change my direction and go diagonally to the right. And then A22 is going to be my fifth element. And then A13 uh, is going to be my sixth element. And etc. And I'm going to just move like a snake. And you can see using this uh, approach to count our elements in the union, we're going to list all of them. Uh, but here's like just one trick that you need to argue that if at some point my element a i j is going to be repeated, you're going to just throw that element away. So in other words, you're not only counting each of the elements, but also you're remembering them. And as soon as you're going to uh, discover another element that you already counted, you're just not going to count it again because, again, we want to have a bijection. 
Uh, and so since we find since we found the order for our union, in other words, we can list all our elements. That's why the union of AIs is going to be countable. So we can put the check mark for our first statement. Uh, let's discuss our second statement and our second statement that uh, let's say like the yet countable union of countable sets. Oh, sorry, of of countable sets is not countable. So first, like let's discuss just for a second what does it mean like. Uh, we have an uncountable set. We're going to say that some set is uncountable if we cannot list uh, the, the like our elements in that set. Or in other words, there is no bijection from the natural numbers to our original set. Uh, I can talk about uncountability uh, in my future videos, but it's like really interesting, like to discover what are the first possible uncountable sets, and there are like a couple of really surprising ones. Okay, uh, so let's show that the union, of, the uncountable union of countable sets is uncountable. And here we're going to use one simple fact that the open interval 0, 1 is uh, uncountable. The approach how we can show that, we can use a uh, counter diagonal argument. We can uh, do it by contradiction, assuming that we can list our all elements, and then we're going to construct a new element, which is not, that, that, that we haven't listed before. So we're going to obtain a contradiction. Uh, but, what I want to show, I want to rewrite that set using uh, different notation. So I'm going to write this, uh, an open interval zero, zero, 1 is going to be equal to the union of all elements x that belongs to my open set, 0, 1. And I'm going to take the union of the singletons. So uh, if you go think about this geometrically, that means I'm going to have a unit interval 0, 1. And I'm going to just write the 0, 1 as a disjoint union of separate elements inside my... So in other words, I'm just listing my elements without using this particular order. I'm going to just write them as a union. And here you can see that uh, my AI in this case is going to be... I'm going to call it like AX. Yes. And AX is going to consist of one element X. So AX is going to be countable because by definition it's countable if we can list our elements or in other words, I'm going to include definition countable that my sets can be finite or empty. And here I'm going to run my index X through uncountable set 0, 1, which we know is uncountable. And the whole union is going to be equal to 0, 1. And 0, 1 is uncountable. So that's why we show the uncountable union of countable sets is not countable because this is our counterexample. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please feel free to share with your friends. And have a nice day. Bye.